The VacFlow process utilizes lightweight matched GRP tooling and resin injection by vacuum. There are several advantages to VacFlow. Low capital investment, a reusable upper tool, improved productivity over contact molding techniques, and two molded surfaces. The molds for VacFlow are constructed from polyester GRP. The lower half is of a typical hand layup mold construction with a wider and stiffened flange area. In VacFlow, gel coat is applied as normal by hand or spray machine. Surfacing veils can be used to reduce fiber print through. The main reinforcement is then placed in the mold, ensuring no gaps between it and the gel coat. The advantages of deformable stitched mats, such as Shomara's Rovicore, can be seen. These dramatically reduce glass loading times. If core materials are incorporated, accuracy of size and care with placement into the mold are crucial. When joining two pieces of reinforcement, a slight overlap is necessary ensuring no resin-rich or reinforcement-rich areas which may lead to poor flow or difficulties with mold closure. Woven reinforcements can be incorporated to give extra strength. Benefits may also be seen from using combination fabrics such as Shomara's Rovimat, where the layer of chopped strands can help resin flow and also reduce print-through. A lightweight polyester GRP upper mold is then placed onto the reinforcement. Resin inlet and vacuum takeoff tubes are attached. A catch pot is used to ensure excess resin does not enter the vacuum pump. A full vacuum is pulled between the two seals to clamp the mold, and a second vacuum of 0.6 bar is drawn from the central point. The resin is then catalyzed and introduced to the mold via the resin inlet tube. The resin travels quickly around the peripheral channel and then starts to flow through the reinforcement. Injection of this component, which has a developed area of 2 square meters, takes between 10 and 15 minutes, depending on choice of resin and reinforcement. Once full, the resin injection is stopped by clamping the inlet tube. The central tube is then clamped or the vacuum released to a holding level of 0.3 bar. It is essential that this vacuum is not released until the resin has gelled, otherwise the tool will relax and air will be drawn into the laminate. Once sufficient cure has been achieved, the tubes are removed and the upper mold lifted to allow demolding. The gel coated GRP component with a molded back face can then be removed. The backflow process does have some limitations. It is an ambient temperature process which restricts cycle times and process control. It is necessary to manipulate an upper tool. It requires larger dimensional tolerances than RTM. It gives reduced flow rates compared with RTM and RTM light. The detail and accuracy of the upper mold design is critical to the success of VacFlow. A lightweight gel-coated GRP laminate using a more flexible resin system is ideal. Simple inserts can be used for the resin inlet, the central takeoff port, and the main vacuum clamping port between the double seal arrangement. The primary inner seal is of silicon rubber to ensure maximum resistance to styrene. The outer seal is of neoprene rubber and is extruded as a wing profile. This ensures easier mold closure and clamping. Once closed, a reusable metal catch pot can be inserted into the central takeoff port to collect any excess resin. The vacuum takeoff points can be attached to the vacuum pump, 
which can either be an air-driven Venturi pump, such as the vacuum minder, or a mechanical pump with a split reservoir. The resin inlet tube is then inserted connecting the mould to the resin source. The vac flow process offers many benefits to moulders and remains a cost-effective entry into closed mould processing.